This is something that we dwell on all year long, right? Look at the ups and look at the downs that players have and how they handle them. Um, and then ultimately you have to make a decision at the end of the year. Cooper added that there were some difficult decisions to be made as they had a number of players step up at different times and overall have a solid core of excellent young players. Nine trophies were given out starting with the most dedicated award that went to Brad Dixon. The Fort St. John native traveled between the two cities for games and practice and continued playing while his brother was recovering in hospital from a car crash. Austin Power was deemed the most sportsmanlike player on the team, while Wyatt Warren's won most improved. The 21-year-old recorded one goal in his first seven games of the season, then really picked things up late, netting two goals and adding six assists for eight points in his final five regular season games. Jordan Ray took home the Junior Canucks version of the Art Ross and also won Rookie of the Year. Unsurprisingly, as the 18-year-old put up 19 goals and 17 assists for 36 points in 28 games and provided a big spark to the offense when he joined later in the season. Randy Spokely, for his hard work throughout the season, was deemed the unsung hero. Now to the big ones, Captain Colin Matheson, who picked up the C after the holiday break after Colton Gies left for school, was named the team MVP. After an average start to the year, the 20-year-old really came into his own, mostly on the offensive side of things. He said working on his movement helped other facets of his game. Skating improved a little bit and then had more chances to get more shots off and more scoring opportunities and put the puck in the net a little better. Cooper added they worked with Matheson a lot through the season and he bought in, becoming a real leader on and off the ice. Spencer Gover, for the third time during his tenure as a junior Canuck, took home the most valuable defenseman award and also won playoff MVP for his steady play on the blue line. Derek Lightfoot, CJDC TV Sports, Dawson Creek.